Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Let's Build the City, and I'm out of breath. Whew. <laughs> I've just been uh, doing a little bit of work outside, and oh, I thought I'd come back, do some recording, but I don't think I'm ready yet. <sighs> uh, so, I've got the racetrack uh, done with the green wool that you guys sort of also agreed that uh, was sort of the best plan. There was a a lot of different people saying a lot of different things, like uh, sand and, and dirt and stuff like that. But the majority of people uh, agreed with this, and I really like that. That looks really, really nice now it's entirely done. Also, a little bit of a problem uh, for some reason. I think I placed a couple of fences wrong on this corner, but I'll fix that now. So it's all it's all good. And I put all the rest of the uh, chairs in now. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 120, 180, 240, 240 seats. Can you believe it? That's so many seats. Uh, but behind this, what we're going to do is uh, start where the judging panel is going to be. Apparently, according to the picture that I am using to build this, because I know nothing, <laughs> nothing at all about horse racing. Uh, but apparently, according to this picture is uh, behind here, is going to be some uh, judging panels, some judging boxes. And I'm going to put them behind glass. I have no idea if they actually are meant to be behind glass or, or anything like that. But I think it'll look quite nice. I really, really do. So we're going to place that up that side. Place that up this side. And then we're going to get some glass panes. And we either do them onto the floor like this. Or... We build it one block up, like this. Hmm. I like it one block up. I think I like it one block up better. Oh, let me just let my dog out. He wants to. Uh, he wants to go and see who's, who's in the house. Go on then, boy. You're all right. There. Yeah. See, you jump over the leads as long as you don't strangle me. <laughs> That's so unprofessional, isn't it? You never, you never see any YouTubers let their dogs out in the middle of a recording. Oh well, I'm not a very professional guy, am I? If you've been watching me long enough, you know I ain't professional. I just like to chill out and, and enjoy it with you guys. If you want to see a very unprofessional series, then I suggest, if you haven't already, to start watching the Skyrim series. Really, really great. I'm absolutely loving that, um, that, that series. It's so fun to do. If you haven't watched any, all you've got to do is sort of, well it's one video every day, so all you've got to do is watch two every now and again, and uh, and you'll catch up quicker than you'll ever imagine. Super, super easy. Um, but I love that, because it's a daily series, I can be a little bit more relaxed with it, and uh, I'm, I'm always relaxed in all videos, but the Skyrim series especially, I'm just chilled out on, you know, we... You, you you see sort of me getting excited about killing people and uh, you know and on all the quests I get right into that game I get so into every single video it's really really fun I like that big old judging window there we could split them as well where the stairs are so we could have like a judging panel uh, I don't know a special VIP box and stuff like that for now I'm gonna leave it like that though we did get those to right height I cannot believe it. <laughs> From the eye, we got it correct. I hate this frame issue whenever I look at spawn. It is so frustrating. It makes my eyes go, like, really, really funky as well. Okay. So then, on top of this, the the um, the um building is only going to come back. Well, maybe we could come back another block. Potentially, we could do it something like this. And this. And then bring this back one block, just to make it a little bit wider. Otherwise, the room is only going to be two blocks deep. At least now the block's going to be... Th the, the room here is going to be three blocks deep. Which should look at least a little bit better. But I don't really mind that. And then along the back here, I reckon to get a little bit of depth in, I'm actually going to put grey wool here. Because it's very modern. We're doing a very modern uh, looking grandstand. So... If I put this along here, the grey will still match in with everything. It's not gonna, it's not gonna stand out too much and be really, really ugly. The roof, though, I'm gonna leave for the moment. I can do that off camera because uh, it's only gonna be a flat roof. You can see exactly where my roof is gonna be anyway. Uh, if you wanted to do it yourself, so we're gonna have this along here and one more block up, I think, like so, and then we're gonna have a slabbed. Well, this might actually be stairs, roof, up to there. And then starting here will be uh, just a very small, probably only, it's only going to be three blocks tall, I think. Other small, tiny little wall. 
and that'll go to a slab roof on top of that. Ooh, uh, hello there. Hello, blocks that aren't matching up with each other. Okay, then. Um, I like this side better because there's more room. So we shall just add, add another block. Obviously, we didn't get it right then. Or oh, I've, I've done something wrong this episode. Could be either way. <laughs> Let's add that there. Oh, is that all I needed? That's all it was. That's all the problem was. Okay. And then... Oh, that's on the wrong height. There's no point putting them there. Just need it here. Okay, that's going to be four blocks tall. I might add another one to the very top as well then. I don't know. And then what I want to do is I want to work out the blueprint or the footprint of the clubhouse. I had to look at the piece of paper to know what... Or oh, my computer screen to, to know what it was called. I'm getting better. I'm learning stuff. While building this, I am learning stuff. I'm going to take that away. Like that. Yeah. I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay, so the clubhouse, what we're going to do is I'm going to leave a little tiny gap down here for a road. And this is going to be a straight wall like this. But this wall is then going to come out at a very slight angle. So I'm going to go four blocks. Um, well, that's five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Whoops. One, two, three, four, five. Where are we? Okay, that looks like a pretty good leg. Maybe one more. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out at more of an angle. So I'm going to go two, every two blocks now. It's sort of cur It's almost curving around the track. Almost. Not fully, but it is almost coming around the track. So we've got like that angle, then this angle. And then I'm going to curve this. Curve this around. Huh? <laughs> I went all. Uh, I don't know. What, what language? Uh, Italian. Yeah, I went all Italian. I'm going to curve this around. Uh, I'm going to do it like this. I think just like a little end sort of circle-ish. It's sort of a circle, not exactly though. And then this is then going to come down this way. I'm trying to get a similar shape to what I'm looking at because I just like it. I just like the, the feel of the whole building. And then this is going to come back at an exact 45 degree angle. I'm sort of moving away from the picture now. Um, like that. And then I'm going to come up a little bit. And then we're going to come... Every three blocks, maybe? I don't know. We're just having a go. Like this. We'll stand back in a minute. See if we're, we're good. Yeah, I like that. See, that's a really cool shape. Really cool shape. Like this. And I'm going to keep it straight here. And then we'll come out like this until we get in line again. Oops, we're in line there. And then back down here. And then I can splash myself. And we go faster again. Wonderful. Okay, so that is a really cool shaped building there. The footprint to that. Um, the roofs aren't going to be that difficult to do, I don't think. Um, there's going to be three different roof heights. This part's going to be the tallest. This part's going to be the second tallest. And then this part here is going to be the third tallest. Something along those lines. So we've got windows to go in here. So I'm going to place those two there, those two there. We can have a two wide window there, there, and there. Two wide, two high, like that. We'll have to use full glass blocks for that. And then this, let's put this along here. It makes it easier to place the glass later on. And then this comes a Oh, no, 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 no. We need to go another block up, like that. And along here. Careful, can we do it like this? Nope, we're not fast enough. <laughs> ah, ah. Wonderful. So that's where the first roof is going to be. But then, and this building is just going to come up like this, I think. Maybe like that. Something like that. And then this one is going to come up this high feels good to me. So, so it's a large building. And then we can do... Four block wide windows, so it'll be there, 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 one, two, three, four, there, one, two, three, four, there, one, two, three, four, there. That would work out well. Four wide, two blocks high, I think. So it's going to be one, two, like this. Let me add another one of these 
here. It just makes it a lot easier when we're adding the paints later on. It was going to have to be done anyway. And then add these ones. Now, the question is, do we use glass or do we use ice? Personally, I think glass would be more beneficial to this place. Especially if we're going to do the inside. We're going to have to do some lighting in here. And it's always awkward trying to work around glass. This frame rate here is horrendous. I don't think you guys can notice it that badly while watching. But to me, it's 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 so awful. It really, really is. I'm going to put a line of grey here. I think just to break up the two windows. I'm just going to have another set of windows exactly like this uh, on top. The only trouble is... Hmm. No, we can get around that. That'll be fine. Ignore me. That goes up there. That goes up there. That goes up there. This one comes down here. Um, hmm. And what about the stables? Uh, I've got a picture of sort of what they look like, but it's not very clear. It seems to me, according to the picture, they're just like a big concrete area. And uh, if it is that, then I'll do that. That's no problem at all to do. Um, I just thought it would have been a little bit, I don't know, more fancier, but they don't seem to be. I suppose they don't need to be. The horses are only there temporarily, aren't they? It's not really a focal point. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And this one goes up here. And then we just need to match this up again. Looks like we've got the right height. The height feels good to me. Uh, do I have a question of the day? I, did I struggle last episode with a question of the day? Hmm. Question of the day. Hmm. Why is that one so much taller? That shouldn't be that tall. Um. Hmm. I don't, I'm afraid. I don't have a question. Oh, I do have a question of the day. This was a question that was thought by a subscriber. It's a, it's a, like, a completely, uh, strange one. <laughs> like, it doesn't, uh, relate to anything we're building at the moment. But someone asked, How often does your Minecraft crash? Very often. No, that's not what they asked. Um, they asked, question of the day would be, what was your first mobile phone? Hmm. Now, my first mobile phone was a brick. <laughs> it was a big phone. Um, it was a Nokia. Was it the 3600 or something like that? Apparently now, uh, they're sort of classed as indestructible. And I must agree, I think I've still got mine somewhere. In a drawer, probably, no doubt, uh, in a filing cabinet. And, um, yeah, they, they were tough phones. Really, really tough phones. Done everything I needed. You know, all, all you could do back then, there was no internet on phones or anything like that. In fact, internet wasn't really that big uh, as a whole when that phone came out. Um, but, yeah, no, I think it was a 3600, something, the 3300, 3600, something like that. It was blue. It was like a dark blue on the sides and then it was grey grey on the front and the buttons had like lights behind them so you could see when you push the buttons they would light up and uh, they were like a dark green it's I think from what I can remember it was so many many years ago now you've got to remember um, but yeah you'd phone and you could text on it and my favourite part is it had snake on it. Who doesn't like snake? You know, that's that should be a question of the day. Who doesn't like snake? Everybody loves snake. It was an amazing game. Really, really great fun. Uh, absolutely great time-wasting game. I got pretty good at that. I never completed it. Well, not that you can complete the game, but um, I do know of people that have, or you can see it on, on YouTube hiccups, of where they actually play Snake and they get the whole thing to cover up. Like the whole screen is just one long snake and he, he gets so long that there's nowhere to go so he has to eat himself. That is nutty. That is like a nutty amount of skill at, at, <laughs> at Snake. I mean, you must have been playing for so long to get that. Um, but yeah, I find that quite funny. I, I enjoyed that. I'm going to do it there. Just trying to put some windows in. And because they're all on an angle, it does make it really difficult. One, two, three, four. Right there. Whoops. Right there. And then I'm going to place that one there and there. And then we can have some two wide ones here, maybe. 
Like that, maybe. It's not easy, this part. Especially with this stupid frame rate issue. It's awful. I hate it. Uh, I'm going to take that one away. Like that. That looks pretty cool. Mm-hmm. 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 And then... We need... This part from here... Splash me. Is going to come down this way. This is going to give us our, our second roof height. Like this. A couple more, maybe. And then down this way. Like that. Does that feel right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's close enough. I can always adjust it later on. And then... This has got to come along here. We might as well do it thick again. Aha. Uh -huh. So, yeah. What was your first mobile phone? After I had that Nokia, I think I went to a flip phone. And I have no idea. I think... I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on this. Uh, but I think it was a Motorola something. I think. And, uh, yeah. That had a, a flip phone. And it, it was a flip one. Uh, and it also had a camera. Which was mind-blowing to have a camera on your phone. I mean, it was the worst camera that you could ever have. Um, you know, it was it was an awful, awful camera. Um, but it was it was crazy. You know, I can I can take pictures anywhere. You think you know? I can I can literally take a picture anywhere I go. And I used to love that. I really did like that phone. Um, and then I think that broke. I think I I flipped it open. And it snapped it. I think. Something like that happened to it. And uh, I couldn't use it anymore. And I was gutted. And then after that. What would I have after that? I think after that I went to a red Nokia. Uh, I've only had a few phones in my lifetime. I haven't really gone through that many. Because I try not to break them. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't like getting a new phone. Because if you get a new phone. Um. You have to... Oh, I, I can never get it where I can, like, transfer all my contacts over. And I've got a lot of contacts on my phone. Like, uh, way more than I should have. I, I mean, I hardly ever con talk to any of them. But I still have their numbers in there. And, um... I actually like that. Yeah, I like that. Um, uh, yeah, I never, I never contact them or talk to them or anything. Uh, but I still... In fact, this one should be one lower. Uh, but I still keep them. So whenever I get, whenever my phone breaks, I'm absolutely gutted that I have to get a new phone. Um, I've never had an iPhone. Um, I don't really know why. I just never have had one. Um, I don't know if it's because I don't like them or what. I can't see why I wouldn't like them. I just never have really had one to to try it out. Is it worth getting one? Do you guys think that I should get one? You can let me know. Uh, is it worth it? Are they good? Do you like them? Do you enjoy them? But yeah, after that, after my Motorola, I think I had a, it was a red Nokia, and it was a something something Express Music, is what it was called. Something something Express Music, and it had, <laughs> believe it or not, apparently, not that I could ever tell the difference, but apparently it was meant to have 5.1 surround sound in your phone, <laughs> which I never understood. I mean, how can there be a 5.1 surround sound system in your phone? You know, surround sound is meant to be what it says, you know, surround sound. And how can it surround you if if it's in your phone? You know, it's only coming from one place. I mean, it was quite good, and I, I, I used it a lot for music, you know, which is what it was meant to be used for. Um, but apart from that, the phone was, wasn't that great. It was, um, it was very slow from what I can remember. A not very powerful phone. Uh, it had no real good games on it, which <laughs> when when I was about like the the games that came with the phone were the only games that you could get on them. Uh, I know for some of you that might sound a little bit odd, um, but you couldn't download games onto your phone back then. You know whatever you had was what you had. This is going to be one large like round window, like a big a big viewing point. Not that you can see much, but you can sit out there and see that. Which sounds pretty cool. Um, so yeah, uh, if if there was no good games on your phone, you were stuck with that. You 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 were stuck with whatever games it gave you. 
Uh, and then after that, I think I went with a Blackberry something. I think I, there might have been a phone between those two. But the next one I can remember was a Blackberry. And that's the phone before the one that I've got now, in fact. That's how <laughs> um, a few phones that I've had. Um, and the one, yeah, that one was quite good. Um, that Blackberry. I liked the Blackberry because I'm not very good at touchscreens. And the Express Music one was a touchscreen phone. And I'm not so good when it comes to touchscreen. My, my, I'm not fat, but my fingers don't... <laughs> I don't know, I just seem to hit the wrong buttons all the time with touchscreen phones. So I thought, aha, I should go with a Blackberry. There's no touchscreen then. It's like a miniature keyboard. And uh, that was a really mind-blowing phone because you could get your emails on it. That that phone had internet. And I think it was the first phone that I had, at least, uh, that could access the internet. And um, not that it was great internet, uh, but it had it. I'm going to have this all a solid wall here. Uh, but it had it, and you could, you, yeah, you could, you could read your emails. And uh, I used to have it at school, so I could get um, school homework. For some reason, my school, uh, like halfway through me being there, decided that they were going to give out all their homework via online instead of giving it to you, like on a piece of paper, uh, to do your homework with. You'd have to go on the computer and fill out on your computer and print it off. A um, little bit cheeky, really. Um, but that's the way that they used to do it. Uh, this one is then. Oh no, this one's on this height. Um, but yeah, you could get your you could get internet. Only trouble with the BlackBerry is that the buttons were minuscule. Those buttons were awfully small, uh, painfully small. Uh, they. Uh, I spent my life hitting the back key. And I'll tell you something else with that that I remember. Right, the delete key, so you're in the middle of a text, and you you go to, uh, you, you press the wrong button, and you go to delete one, you go to delete just one letter, that's all you want to delete, is just one letter, so you go to delete it, and the enter, the send key, was right next to it, and these buttons were about, I don't know, if you look at your fingernail, they're about a quarter of the size of your fingernail. Like, they were minusculely small buttons. And, um, yeah, and the delete key was right underneath. Oh, no, the enter key, the send key, was right underneath the delete key. And the amount of times that I used to send half-completed texts. Oh, man, like, it would be like, Hey, bud, are you coming over later? Uh, or today was the text it was meant to say, but it would just be like, Hey, bud. Are you cut? And then, and then I would actually then they hit send because I would I don't know I'd hit M instead of C or something, and uh, and it would send it, and that was it, and it was gone, <laughs> you know. And then I'd have to type out it all again, and uh, I've never been a quick texter, never, never have I been a quick texter, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it was so frustrating. I absolutely hate it. But yeah, I'd like to hear what you guys have. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you, if if your first phone uh, was an iPhone, it really wouldn't surprise me if it was. Um, I know they're still pretty expensive, but you can get the older models quite cheap now. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe you went for an iPhone as your first phone. It should be pretty cool. But yeah, I've got friends that I've got. My girlfriend's actually got one. She's got an iPhone. Um, uh, but I don't know. I I don't use my phone enough uh, to to require a phone that powerful or good or whatever, however you want to call it. Um, I I only really use my phone. Well, nobody ever phones me, and I never phone anybody, so I can't complain about that. I never text anybody. I never. Um, play games on it really I suppose occasionally I play games on it like for example uh, Simpson the Simpsons tapped out game I play that a little bit whenever I've got a free moment I'll pop on there and do some tapping uh, but apart from that I never really I never really touch it at all this needs to come up a little bit doesn't it I think no it doesn't need to does it that's gonna be like a small one yeah 
Okay, so you can sort of see, I need to line that up with that. We're going to come every two blocks, I think, would would work out relatively nicely, I think. Uh, you can see, though, this building. I can't believe through all this talk, and we've actually <laughs> done something this episode. I'm not very good at building while talking, you see, but this episode we seem to have, have, have done it quite well. So, as you can see, we've got three different roof heights. One there, one there, and one there. It's a nice-sized building for the whole track. I really, really like it. We can see exactly where the windows are going to go, where the roof's going to be. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. We're going to leave it there, though, for this, this episode. I've talked way too much this episode, and my voice is starting to hurt. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Don't forget to leave your first phone in the comment section below. Bye!